If you guys like what you see in this video and would like to grab this WWE Elite Figure 2 pack, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. <laughs> What is good everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite 2 pack action figure review on the brand new WCW Bret the Hitman Heart and Goldberg Elite 2 pack from Mattel. The first thing that I have to mention about these figures guys is the packaging. We always start off our reviews with the packaging and that is no different with this, but this time guys they took it up a notch. I am in absolute love with this packaging. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. You have Bret the Hitman Heart and Goldberg in your front viewing window there. On the bottom you get like this nice purplish toned silver. It's like a glowing purple kind of like it's like metal. Then below it says Bret Hitman Heart here. Goldberg. I love the font they got going on. You got these great realistic flame deco going around right there. I love the way that looks. WWE Elite logo there. On the top you have that same flame pattern with the steel and the nice purple stripe. WWE logo there. On the side of the packaging you get a beautiful image of Bret here. On the opposite side you do get a nice image of Goldberg. And then flipping it around on the back you would get even more great things going on with the packaging. WC CW logo here. You got an image of Brett and Goldberg there. If you'd like to read all the info in the middle, guys, you can pause it right now. I think they absolutely nailed it with this packaging, man. You can even see the WCW logo background back there behind the figures, and I just love it, man. I love everything going on with this packaging. I'm not a mock collector, so we gotta let them breathe and crack them open, but if you're a mock collector, I don't think you're gonna have any issues with this packaging because it is absolutely beautiful, but nothing else on the bottom of the packaging, guys, so let's go ahead and crack Brett the Hitman Heart and Goldberg out of their packaging. All right, guys, so here's Bret Hart and Goldberg out of their packaging. Looking pretty swell, I might add. We are going to get into all the dits and the details, and I don't know what the hell is saying about dits. I don't, I don't know what dits is. So I, I don't know. Just, just, just... So what I think we're going to do for these accessories, guys, is we're just going to cover all the accessories together because both guys just kind of come with some hands and some other things, and a lot of their accessories kind of go hand in hand together. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover all the accessories at once, and then we will run it back and take a closer look at Bret Hart, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Goldberg and do all our comparisons on all of that ish. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into the accessories you get with this WCW Hitman Heart and Goldberg 2-pack. All right, guys, so let's get into these accessories. Starting off with one of the main selling points, I think, of this 2-pack was the WCW United States Championship, as you guys can see right here. And I know one of the big issues that a lot of people have with this championship is that the WCW United States Championship design that Mattel selected, which was this one, is the one that they used from like mid-1991 to about mid 19 1995. And then the design that they use from mid-1995 to late 2001, which would be the one that Bret Hart and Goldberg would feud over, would be the one with two side plates instead of the four that you guys see here. So I found that a bit interesting. I'm not exactly sure why they decided to do that, but I'm pretty sure this two-pack is based on 1999, and this is the design that was used from the early 90s. But it looks good. I like the plates. I, it, it looks effing massive, bro. Like, when you compare this, like, let's compare it to the AEW Championship just for a size comparison. Like, you guys know how big the AEW championship is and how wide its plates are. This just kind of gives you an idea of how wide these plates are on this thing, but it does look good. I do like the way the championship looks. Great gold details in there. It shines bright, and you guys saw what it looked like on Bret Hart in the packaging, so that's very nice to see. Next up, guys, we do have a Claw WCW Monday Night Nitro shirt, which I guess is cool. You know, you could use this for a cameraman. You can use this for a backstage guy. You can use it as a crowd, you know, member of your, of your arena or whatever you want to do, but neither man wore this shirt, not during the segment where, you know, this two-pack is based on, not based on the match or anything, so they just threw an old classic Monday Night Nitro logo onto a black t-shirt. I guess works, you know, they, they wanted to include a cloth accessory, which I guess does something, but I'll, I'll explain exactly what I would have expected out of this two-pack later on, but there is that. You, of course, do get mic holding hands on Goldberg out of the packaging, and you do get choke slamming hands. I don't know why they give him choke slamming hands, and then they give him mic holding hands. I would like to see this, maybe. I think this would be kind of cool, just due to his, like, brawler style in the ring, you know, like the kickball boxing style. I think it would have been cool to see fists with this guy. Other thing that we get is Bret Hart mic holding hands. So you do get the mic holding hands and then out of the packaging he does include his entrance hands right there.
there. So there you go. The Kawhi Leonard hands or the Ricochet hands as well. Another thing that you get are sunglasses. So you do get a little bit of accessories with this thing. And I guess that is kind of expected when you're buying a two-pack like this. But if you guys want to see what the glasses look like on the figure, there you go. There are the sunglasses on the Bret Hart figure. And then you do get the steel plate that Bret Hart wore underneath his jersey when he baited Goldberg to spear him when he challenged him back in 1999. So this is a very nice detail. I love the moment. I love it. You know, Goldberg went into the spear, hit his head on the steel plate, and knocked him unconscious. Very cool moment. I think it's awesome. Obviously, Bret Hart wasn't wearing this. He was wearing a hockey jersey. It was like promo gear. Both guys were in promo gear, which we'll get into later on. But I do like the details you got. You got the black straps with the silver details. And it does buckle on like any other championship. So it does have these little hooks on the back. And you'll just port the little hole plug into the hole right there. And I'm kind of having a difficult time doing that. So here's what the steel plate looks like on the Bret Hart figure. And I'm not going to BS with you guys. It did take me a minute to get on there. Like the little, the little peg and the hole itself are kind of flimsy. So it is difficult to get it in there. But once you get it on there, it does fit the figure very nicely. I do like the way that looks on the figure. So there is that. And then the last accessory that you get is an interchangeable Goldberg head sculpt, which is a re-released head sculpt that we got with the entrance grades Goldberg. And it is the same head sculpt we got with the main event ring, but it is colored differently. So I do believe that it is the exact same head sculpt that we got with the entrance grades, except the eyes look a little bit differently, which is kind of weird. I guess we can get into the comparison later on when we do our comparisons, but there's the Goldberg head sculpt. And that pretty much does it for your WCW 2-pack elite accessories, guys. So with that being said, let's get into Bret Hart himself. All right, guys, so getting into Bret Hart, as you guys can see with the head sculpt here, this is the exact same head sculpt or one of the head sculpts that we got with our Ultimate Edition series, Bret the Hitman Hart. So this is a pretty much re-release of the same head sculpt. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same. I can't find any differences. We will do a comparison shot later on in the video, but you guys can see here the hair draped down. Uh, I don't have a huge issue with this head sculpt. I think the likeness is there. It may not capture it perfectly, but I do like it. I think it does symbolize Bret Hart, especially if you put, you know, some glasses on there. If you put his Hitman glasses from the Ultimate Edition on there, and, you know, you want to keep it on there. So putting on the glasses, you guys can see, I like that a lot better. It, it kind of shades any non-likeness to Bret Hart. I think it kind of hides it with the sunglasses. So if you guys want to put your Ultimate Edition Bret Hart sunglasses on there, that is what that would look like. Going down into the rest of the figure, guys, you will see that he does have a singlet here. Signature singlet for Bret Hart. You have like this, I don't know, it's coming off kind of reddish orange on, on the camera, but the color on this is kind of like a salmon or coral type color, and I don't know, man. It's just not Bret Hart pink that you think of, and I'm not exactly sure why they went with this color. You guys can just kind of see, like, zooming out, it kind of looks like red. It's kind of weird. We'll do a comparison shot again in the next shot of the video to see the different pinks of the Bret Hart compared to this. I mean, you can kind of see it on the boots. These are regular Bret the Hitman Hart boots that we've seen in the past, and this pink is way more accurate to the boots. See, he has some of the best boots in the game, so comparing them to the rest of the attire, you got all your Hitman deco, and you got all the skulls, and you got the flames and the Hitman going on with it, but the pink color is just not accurate. I don't I, I don't know. Even if you compare it to the match that these guys had, I can't find a single shot of the uh, attire looking like this, so I'm not sure exactly sure why that is, but, but that pretty much does it for our look at the Bret Hart Elite figure, guys. So now, with that said, let's dive into some Bret Hart Elite figure comparisons. So for your Bret Hart Elite figure comparisons, guys, you will see we have the Ultimate Edition on the left, the brand new WCW 2-pack in the middle, and then we have the Best of Pay-Per-View Build-A-Figure Bret Hart, and this is what I was thinking. I think a lot of people were thinking the same thing. I think if we're going to do this WCW Elite 2-pack with the steel plate underneath, I feel like they should have just done a re-release of this figure, which this figure is kind of hard to come by. He had similar tennis shoes and shorts and knee pads and socks like this, and then he wore a Toronto Maple Leafs jersey, I do believe, and I feel like they could have done just like a plain long sleeve white jersey type deal that could have velcroed in the back. You could have done, you could have given us this same head sculpt, just put it on, just give us this body, give us maybe bare arms, use the same torso that this thing uses, and then just done like a white cloth long sleeve jersey type deal with maybe Bret Hart on the back or maybe just a plain maple leaf on the front in blue and no lettering. I'm not sure how they can get away with that. Again, I'm not all into that. I don't know the specifics, but alongside that, you could have done a Goldberg in jeans with a jacket or jeans with a t-shirt to go along with the moment. I think that would have been really, really awesome, but they gave us this instead, which I understand it, but I think that would have been really, really epic to see it in the street gear. Both guys in street gear from the exact moment where they used the armor plate or where Bret Hart used the armor plate. I think that would have been beautiful to see, but you guys can see in the pink colors. I mean, look how different this is. I, I like this pink much more. Again, I'm not sure why they did the pink this way. I don't know what their, their reasoning was behind that, and I don't know if we'll ever know it, but I definitely like the old 
Ultimate Edition attire better. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that down in the comment section below. Do you think the street attire or the street gear would have been a better idea? Let me know down below. So getting into Goldberg, guys, you can see that this head sculpt we have seen on a Elite Goldberg before. This is the Elite 74 head sculpt. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same. I don't see any differences with it. And the neck down is pretty much the entrance grates figure from neck to bottom. Like, there's really no difference. You got the big Goldberg torso right there with the chest stubble, which I like. You got a signature tattoo. Two elbow pads on there. Bret Hart comes with elbow pads as well, and I'm not sure if it's accurate, but I would love to see open elbow pads with our Bret Hart figures. They haven't done that in years upon years. Not exactly sure why that is, but you do get the wrist gauntlets right here, or wrist straps right there for the gloves that do slide up and down if you want. Gloved hands, which is signature with Goldberg. I don't know if you guys can see this, but on my trunks right here, there's like some marbling or like some glue or something something dried on there. I tried to like itch it off. Itch it off. What the hell am I saying? I tried to scratch that off or get that off, but I'm not having any luck right now, so I don't know. You guys can kind of see. It's like a silver dry brush or something that went over the top of it. I'm not sure where that came from, but that is there. You got your signature Jack Goldberg legs. The knee pads kind of look like they're backwards. I don't know if you guys are seeing that too. And then you do have the signature Goldberg boots on there. And one thing I do want to mention is that Goldberg is on ball joints and the Bret Hart figure is not on ball joints. If you guys are wondering, I try to include that in every video. Bret Hart is not on ball joints. Goldberg is on ball joints. But another thing I wanted to look at is Goldberg is supposed to be 6'4 and Bret Hart is supposed to be 6 foot, but I feel like they're pretty much the exact same height. And Bret Hart kind of looks taller now that oh, hang on. Let's make sure we get this right. So if they're both standing up next to each other, I mean, it definitely doesn't look like Goldberg 6'4 compared to this. I'd say maybe he's 6'2. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but I do I I do always talk about how the Goldberg figure just seems small. It does not seem 6'4 in comparison to other figures, so. That is something I'd like to see improved on in the future. I doubt we get it, but you know. But anyways, guys, that does it for your Goldberg Elite from the two packs. So let's dive into some Goldberg Elite figure comparisons. And for your Goldberg Elite figure comparisons, guys, we do have the new two pack here on the right. We have the Elite 74. We have the Raw Main Event Ring Elite Goldberg, and then we have the Entrance Greats Goldberg. And you guys can see that it is pretty much a re-release of the Entrance Greats. And I do want to do the headshot comparison here with the interchangeable head sculpt that we got with this two pack Goldberg because I want to see exactly how different these head sculpts are and I don't think it's very different if at all. So here's a shot of both head sculpts at the same time. You guys can see again it is a re-release pretty much. Maybe the beard's a little bit darker or something like that. I try to put my damn lamps in the face here and sometimes it just doesn't light it up for some reason so I don't know why that's coming across that way. But as you guys can see it's basically a re-release and now that I've switched it I've kind of lost track of which is which. I guess I can go by the little silver dry brush detail that I got. What the hell is going on? But that pretty much does it for your Goldberg Elite figure comparisons. But that pretty much does it for our WCW Elite 2-pack of Bret Hart and Goldberg. Guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in for the review. Now, overall, if you guys want to get your hands on the WCW United States Championship from 91 to 95, this is an excellent way to do so. And I'm sure maybe with some customization, maybe you could just pop off those other two side plates and put it onto your display if you wanted to. Maybe that's a way around that issue. You will have little holes on there, but I feel like that would probably be your best bet. I know this championship could go with Stunning Steve. I know it can go with some other guys. I believe this same championship could go with Sting. It can go with Rick Rude. There's a lot of guys that this championship could go with, so that may be enough for you to pick it up. If you guys missed out on some other Elite Bret Hart's, if you guys missed out on the main event ring, if you missed out on the Elite 74, even if you missed out on the entrance greats Goldberg, this is a great way to make yourself a WCW Goldberg, and I don't know how much a WCW Goldberg goes for right now, but that may be an awesome option for you if you guys miss out on any of those figures. This could be a cheaper way to do so, and you get, you know, all the different accessories. You get the championship. You get the extra Bret Hart, so I'm just trying to bring and think of some ideas on why you would want this. Maybe you grew up watching WCW and you want to throw it back and you know, for the nostalgia pop. But I'd honestly say, if you guys have zero interest in the U.S. Championship, if you guys already have a Goldberg, you already have a Bret Hart, then you may want to skip out on this pack. But if you want to grab this pack, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Overall, I do like the two-pack. There are some issues with it. There are some things that I do not like about it. But overall, it is a solid set. I don't think it's a must-cop by any means necessary. But if you guys would like to, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.